As a developer, it's important that you understand the technology stack upon which SharePoint 2010 is built. So at the base we have Windows and you can install SharePoint either on Windows Server 2008 or on Vista or Windows 7 if you're working in a development environment. However, you must use the 64-bit versions of, of any of those operating systems. We have Internet Information Services and on top of that we have ASP.NET 3.5 and the .NET Framework. Now SharePoint Foundation 2010 is built directly on top of ASP.NET and the .NET Framework and SharePoint Server 2010 is built directly on top of SharePoint Foundation. We have a number of clients that we can use with SharePoint including of course the browser interface but we also have tight integration with the Office applications such as Word and Microsoft Outlook. You can of course also build your own custom UIs for SharePoint data. From the development stack point of view, SharePoint provides data model in the terms of list, storage and management, but also access to external lists, which is uh, new in SharePoint 2010. So for example, we can use business data connectivity services to extract data from line of business solutions. We have the server APIs, which include a full event model, but also a brand new concept of link to SharePoint. We have the connected client APIs, whereby you may create a Silverlight or a Windows Presentation Foundation application or Windows Forms application that connects to and manipulates SharePoint data without needing to call traditional web services. SharePoint also provides pages and the user interface that you will be familiar with as a, an end user but as a developer you can of course build your own web parts, your own ASP.NET forms. We have Silverlight there as a, an example of an application that will use the client OM to obtain SharePoint data. And we have, um, on top of all of that, the SharePoint server capabilities or workloads, as we sometimes call them, such as search and indexing or content management or business data insights. As well as that, we have manageability with uh, solutions and templates and features. So overall, the technology stack and the development stack will give you a great foundation for starting to develop your own solutions with SharePoint 2010.